I think that the soul of the boat is it's brought to life by every hand that plays a part in building the boat, maintaining it once it's complete, because it's a never-ending process to keep a boat alive. And it, uh, it takes dedication and passion to keep a boat alive. Well, I think that this program is incredibly important because it's geared towards allowing individuals that normally wouldn't have the chance to step into the marine industry to have that opportunity. Because typically, I feel like this industry, you have to know somebody to get hired somewhere. You have to grow up around boat yards. You have to have some sort of experience to kind of get in, and this program is just saying, hey, we don't care what kind of experience you have. You don't." You, if you never picked up a tool in your life, that's cool. If you're interested in this and you're passionate about it, like let us open the door for you and like come on in. <laughs> and um, it's it's helpful for me because like I I don't have any experience in the maritime trades at all, and this is just a wild dream of mine that I've just decided to chase. I think like everybody else, I want to be financially stable. And I also want to enjoy uh, the work that I do. And this is such a special opportunity for someone uh, like me. And I want to take advantage of it fully. And so I guess that's what drives me is just being able to make a life for myself like my parents made for, for me and for themselves. And I'd like to be stable and happy, just like everyone else. In the conversations and in the classes that we've had with a lot of the old guard of the marine industry is that people are very desperate for young workers. It seems like my generation, they're drifting further and further away from skilled trades, from manual labor, and people really want to pass on this knowledge um, and these skills. I think this is a great way to reach out to younger people and get them involved in this because it's a bit of a dying art form, especially a lot of the traditional built building techniques that we learn here. Not a lot of places that are teaching this. I love woodworking. It's just, it feels like a material that's the way you can you could work it. But uh, there is something about wood built that just uh, timeless. We had great um, feedback from, from the customers uh, about like, the quality of work that they receive. And most of them know that apprentice is actually working on their boats. It makes me feel like I'm actually contributing to something. And it makes me feel like I'm doing something for the greater good, I guess, or this area at least. I like that. Like feeling like I'm making a difference in a small part of something. For people like me who don't come from a background of lots of money, if, if this wasn't a paid apprenticeship, I wouldn't be here because I have to pay my own way. And going to school for the maritime trades is historically very expensive. And that's a big thing that keeps people out of it. And there's very few programs, I actually don't know of any other programs currently, that are paid apprenticeships in this field that exist in the United States. So it's a very unique one in that regard. And um, it's, it's about accessibility and getting people that wouldn't have the chance otherwise to follow their passions and their dreams like this to get in and do it. Spalding has a really incredible apprenticeship program. Not many of these exist in the US right now. Um, and they can only, this can continue being a thing with support. Um, but if we don't have that support, then, you know, it can't keep happening. And I find it so valuable. All my coworkers also find it super valuable. And this is a jumping off point for the rest of our lives.